Because the homeworld of the Skakuan people had an incredibly high pressure and their atmosphere had very little oxygen, they were forced to wear large and menacing pressure suits anytime they travelled around the galaxy. The Skakuans, being part of the Techno Union, would not just stop at a utility suit however, they wanted to create the most ruthless and fierce soldiers that the galaxy had ever witnessed. And they did it. So before we dive in, make sure you subscribe for more awesome Star Wars lore content. The Skakuan Commandos, also known as the Skakuan Legal Deputies, were a group of the most elite Skakuan soldiers who served directly at the order of Wat Tambor. These commandos were forced to pledge their loyalty to Tambor and the Techno Union and show that they had the elite skills necessary to serve on such a highly trained defense force. Once accepted into the ranks of the Skakuan Commander Corps, each member was handed a highly modified pressure suit which had a focus on strength and firepower rather than simple survival like the normal pressure suit did. The suits demonstrated that although the Skakuans weren't as physically strong as many of the other species in the war, they could use their technical knowledge and skill to augment their bodies and turn themselves into super soldiers. Luckily, there weren't too many of these guys lurking around the galaxy during the war, or the Republic would be in a lot of trouble. Early in the war, Wat Tambor was actually captured by the Republic on the foundry world of Medalorn and was sent to the remote inner rim prison world of Delrian, where he would be forced to work in the planet's hellish crust mines to help fund the Republic's war effort. Obviously, however, Wat Tambor wasn't going to stay confined in this prison for long. The security firm in charge of keeping the prisoners in line on the planet just happened to be owned by the Separatist Aligned Commerce Guild, which allowed the leadership of the Confederacy to get access to the details of the prison's layout and security. On top of this complete failure already, Wat Tambor was allowed a visit by several of his staff. And I'm sure you can guess who came along on that visit. The Skakuan Commandos. Once they arrived at Tambor's prison cell, they literally blew themselves up by adjusting the pressure on their suits, killing the eight clone troopers who were guarding him and simply allowing him to walk free and escape back to his life as a Separatist leader. As you can imagine, the Republic tried to keep this embarrassing escape quiet for the rest of the war. Thanks so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.